In order for the muscles in our bodies to function, our cells need protein. In a healthy person, genes enable the body to produce the right proteins in the right amounts. One protein that's very important for cell function is called survival of motor neuron, or SMN. In genetic disorders like type 1 spinal muscular atrophy, cells cannot produce enough healthy functioning SMN because they have a defective gene. In one of our clinical trials, researchers are using gene therapy to deliver the healthy SMN1 gene to a patient's cells. Researchers take viruses and modify them in a lab so they only contain the SMN1 gene and do not cause harm to the patient. These viruses are loaded with the healthy SMN1 gene and injected into the body. When the material is injected, the viruses deliver the healthy SMN1 gene to the cells all over the body. Most importantly, they cross the blood-brain barrier to the motor neuron cells in the spinal cord. Once the virus has delivered the SMN1 gene to the cell, the virus disintegrates. The healthy SMN1 gene is taken into the cell but does not integrate with a native DNA, and no other genes are disturbed. Once the healthy gene is inside the cell, it can create normal functioning SMN protein. The goal is the good gene will produce enough good protein and the cell will function properly. Nerve cells that do not make good proteins will eventually die. When they die, the patient loses the ability to use his or her muscles. By delivering the healthy SMN1 gene to the cell before it dies, we can prevent the onset or stop the progression of SMA type 1 symptoms. For this reason, it's critical we identify and treat children as early as possible to give them the best possible outcome.